hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we would be going further ahead and in the previous video what we learnt about was that how we would be keeping our images in our static resources so we just created a zip compressed file and with the name of books as a static resource and the ui that we wanted was for this kind right uh, the books uh, image the name author name and the price so there was uh, so we did till in here only now we would be continuing further as you could see this was our component that we are building in the books component one so for now this is empty but yes we should be uh, start working over this so i have created a lwc component with the name of books so for now though it is empty uh, but yeah uh, you just expose this to the lightning community page and rest is done after that what you do is you want to have uh, you want to import this uh, url uh, into your salesforce lwc right the static resource that you have uh, added the value in okay so likewise what you could be uh, doing is like lwc resource url so see it gave me import resource name from salesforce resource url and the name of the resource like import uh, it gave an example like import trailhead logo from salesforce resource url and the trailhead logo so we could give any name so like we should give like books uh, name since uh, this is a constant thing that we are getting so the best practice would be to name it in the uppercase letters and uh, what is our resource reference so guys our resource references with the name of books okay so what we would be giving here is books okay now this is done like in here um, there are uh, two ways like you can do is uh, like you could directly uh, reference uh, reference this or what you could create is uh, you could uh, create a variable and you can refer that variable either way it is correct like what am i saying is i am saying uh, book resources I do is like this and whenever I have to call this I will be saying this dot book resources so that is what I am trying to say else you could uh, directly use in like books okay so now uh, for the demo purpose like what we would be doing is we would be doing a lightning card and uh, uh, And in here, I would be writing is LWC image. So just I would be writing image tag. Yeah, image. And in the SRC, I would be dynamically giving uh, the SRG. So the book name for the alternative text. So now in our SRC, what uh, would be our SRC like uh, should it be directly um, book resources or like what so basically when we are retrieving things from our static resources many a time uh, people have a doubt like what is to be there so if I would to explain you is that like these were our books that we had uh, added into our static resource so what we did is uh, we just created a add to archive and this was created okay so like uh, now you would be thinking like so if this is added to archive so it would be direct atomic habits like uh, just the properties and the name and dot jpg so let us try with that like so book resources uh, and i am just adding uh, uh, plus slash uh, atomic habits dot jpg okay so this is my book name uh, the first book name so i'm just referencing uh, this book name in the image src section so i'm just writing this and deploying my source to org So 
so see guys hello and only the book name came why didn't it came is because let me explain you what happened is view created a static resource so this was in the kind of zip file so like if you uh, open this one so there is another books then there are sub uh, things to this okay so always remember is that when you were doing just like this so you have to add another book slash atomic habits why because this is referring the inner uh, folder okay else while it is just referring the outer folder and this is not able to access uh, directly and uh, let us see now now this should work and yes so guys this is how uh, it is working uh, as a static resource uh, so in this way we would be having this and like uh, moreover is the thing is like now what we want is we want to have not in this format though lightning card is necessary but uh, we would be making use of grids in here as well so grids is a very important concept um, if you don't know then you could watch our previous videos so div.hlds grid and we would be adding the columns and on the size of the column slds dash size underscore 6 of 12 and i'm giving the same to this one as well and I just copy pasting the image from here to here and like uh, who is the author of atomic habits um, Okay, let us say uh, for an instance uh, like what we would be writing the author name so in here would be coming the author name so author name uh, so this would be coming in separate paragraphs so yeah and p dot uh, no, this would be the author name and another class for the book name. And the price. margin top large margin top medium and in here also the medium margin we would be having for the price so we are deploying the source to work So see guys the book name, author name and the uh, price is appealing. Uh, so and this is it and like this is the why it is coming like the title. So this is it. And uh, we would be having custom CSS for this as well. So that uh, this looks pretty nice as well. And okay so this would be there and we would be having more such kind of uh, uh, books in here so like uh, first what we would be doing is in a developer console na, we would be getting a list of books so like uh, we could have this book name author name from the book object so uh, it would be oh okay let me refresh my org and in our query editor uh, we would be adding select so book underscore was our object 
and the author name languages we will be querying these fields so uh, this is uh, it guys so copy pasting this in our apex so what we would be doing is add the rate or enabled actual to true and public static list of book let's go let's go see uh, get all books uh, return and in here the select statement from your book the limit would be set to 40 book records so in this way we created this and we could refer this in our nwc so how to refer this is import uh, the method name from this could be any guys get all books but why we write it same as the method name is because uh, it makes a sense to uh, find relevant methods uh, instead of a haphazard uh, way of writing so that is why from at the rate sales force apex books and get all books books dot get all books okay and in here uh, what we would be we would be wiring this so first we have to import wire at the rate wire error and data data so the log book records data and as if error so dot log error and error so we will be deploying the source to org so guys we are having our book records and like see the author name uh, book category languages so we are having all these things and we would be querying name as well from here So we would be giving another hit. So our name is also coming. Uh, so now what we would be doing is uh, we would be printing all these uh, books. So what we would be doing is. our data so our book info uh, is consisting of our data and like what we did in our lightning card for one thing we would be uh, replicating uh, this for all the other books so lwc for each so template if true and what would be our true variable would be this book only because we would be going over this book info and for item is book for index is index and uh, uh, we could have li or what we could do is we could have a p tag or we could have just this lightning card 